No Film School's coverage of NAB 2018 is brought to you by Black Magic Design, creating revolutionary solutions for film, post-production, and television. Adorama, the world's only full-service destination for photo, video, and electronics. And My Road Reel, the world's largest short film competition is back. Register now at myroadreel.com. Hey, I'm Charles Hayne for No Film School here at NAB Show 2018. I'm here at the Adobe booth talking to Patrick Palmer. How's it going, Patrick? Going really well, thank you. Thanks so this has been me. a fire year for Adobe. Tell me a little bit about what you guys have showing this year. So for the last couple of release cycles, we've actually been looking at ways of bringing other disciplines into the edit bay without it being overwhelming. We're extending that quite a bit this cycle. So color, for example, we're bringing something extremely useful into the program monitor, which is called comparison view, and it does a number of really cool things. So obviously, you get shot comparisons, so you can see what's before and after, you get nice matching done. That's combined with a color match that is actually Adobe Sensei driven. So what does that mean in more practical terms? We're actually doing face detection in the image that you choose as a reference as much as in the one you're going for, trying to match up. We actually will identify multiple people in that. We'll also actually see who's closest and then make it all work in the mid-tones where the beauty is for the skin tones. In the audio department, we're doing something very similar, empowering the user to do more in less time but with really great quality. So ducking in Audition, for example, has been very popular since it's been introduced and we've had tons of requests to bring it into the edit bay and hey, why not? You basically mark your dialogue as, oh, you guessed, dialogue <laughs> and then you might do some refinements like automatically going for a specific loudness standard or cleaning up a bit getting the, rid of the noise it's all very simple to do but once that's in place if you have a music track underneath they're kind of fighting each other right we see that all the time and people who do this manually know that it's actually a tedious process it takes time to go through the entire track and animate your fader well no more audition has already done this and we're bringing it into premiere now it's a one push button operation that generates the keyframes on an amplifier effect for you, so it will duck automatically whenever there's dialogue. And you have control over it, how smooth it should be, how much you actually want it to duck. So depending on the kind of music you do, also depending on your style of editing, you can cater to that but still nicely automate it. You can now browse for motion graphics templates with the tag words that you think are appropriate. Uh, you can filter in any number of ways. You can favorite things there. It's a very neatly integrated workflow. So you can now change that in After Effects. You can update your motion graphics template and then update all at once in the premiere sequence, but all of your customizations stay in place. Uh, I've always been bothered with the fact that receiving feedback was A, hard to begin with. We're changing all that across the board. So all of the applications switch to a platform called User Voice. So straight from the application, if you now go to the Help menu and find the Send Feedback, it takes you to that website and it's a very nice environment. A, you see what others want and you can just do a plus one. So if you find your favorite topics already listed in the ideas, Great. All you've got to do is say, I want that too. That gives us really nice, statistically viable feedback as to what's really a hot thing for us to do next. Thank you very much, Patrick. I really appreciate it. Thanks for your time. My pleasure. So, from the Adobe booth at NAB Show 2018, this has been Charles Hayne for No Film School.